So you remember those Where's Waldo puzzles where you had to find one geeky glasses wearing teenager named Waldo in a sea of like small lookalikes within a giant image? Well yeah, you guessed it from the title. Welcome to Training a Neural Network to Find Waldo. Let's get right into it. I can't wait. So you might be asking, how are we going to be able to use a neural network to find Waldo within an image? And it's actually a very hard question to address and I'll get into it in just a minute. So we're going to be using the power of image recognition. So I'm going to be explaining how this works and then what deep learning libraries and techniques we might use to achieve an end goal where we input an image and our neural network labels where Waldo is within the image. So first we have to talk about the power of convolutional neural networks and I have a video where I go a lot more in depth of convolutional neural networks, how they work and how to code them and there will be a link attached both in the description and you'll see a little link above. So the first step in convolutional neural networks is actually convolution. So basically what we need to do is filter out the most important pixels that define the features of the image. Um, and so this is called the convolutional operation. And we're trying to pass on the most important information from the image onto the next part of the neural network. Then we use something called uh, ReLU. And ReLU is a function that identifies the nonlinear relationships between the nodes within our neural network. It's basically helping us identify again, kind of what are the most important features and how can we identify these features over time within a neural network? And so you, the th thing you see at the bottom here is taking an, an image of an original size of four by three and using a filter to shrink the image to be three by three. And this is just like an over-exaggerated example of what a convolutional neural network might do. But the whole idea of convolution, ReLU and pooling is taking an image, extracting the most important features, compressing it for it to be a less computationally expensive, meaning smaller, and then connecting all those pieces together and creating a full connect, fully connected neural network that will be able to identify images after compressing them and extracting the most important features. And so what a fully connected, uh, neural network means is that the subsequent nodes of the neural network are all connected to each other. So now image recognition. What you usually see in image recognition is for example, as I spoke about previously, an input image of a flower. So just this um, random flower, blue petals, the yellow center, green leaves, pretty generic, okay? And then the output from a convolutional neural network uh, focused on image recognition would be basically the flower labeled and confined within something called a bounding box. It's just like a rectangular shape that encapsulates the image that we're trying to identify. And then some kind of like label saying a flower and then 89% is indicating how sure the algorithm is that it's looking at a flower. So this is what we usually see in image recognition, but we need something a little bit different because we're not looking at an image of something up close we're trying to find Waldo within a sea of people that all look like him. So we need to take a little bit of a different approach. So for the, for the trained eye, for, for just a regular person, finding Waldo, a person with a hat and glasses, as you can see here, wouldn't be as tricky. You might have to spend maybe five or 10 minutes looking very meticulously through the image, um, but even less time. And over time, we're, we're able to develop as humans certain techniques where we can find Waldo by maybe looking at the hat, the structure of the hat, or maybe looking for glasses within the photo. So we can kind of narrow down what features we're looking at. But for a computer, it's a little bit more difficult to identify Waldo within a sea of images and then identify where he is and put a bounding box that is the proper size around Waldo. So it's really easy for the eye, but more difficult for the computer. So I wrote here, all Waldos are made equal in size. What does this mean? No matter what image we're gonna be looking at, at least here, what, it, what I did with the neural network, no matter what input, the size of Waldo's head 
and the size of his body. And what we're going to actually be identifying is the same size. So all we need to do is input an image of Waldo and then we'll be able to identify Waldo within an image by iteratively going pixel chunks by pixel chunks and identifying if one pixel chunk is very similar to the image we have of Waldo. And that's basically how the image recognition process works very briefly. So here I showcase my results. So I had three different methods of showing where Waldo was. I highlighted him in a green bounding box and then I tried just highlighting him without a bounding box. And the last one was just outputting a smaller image of Waldo within the larger image. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit longer than I usually make these project videos, but I hope you learned something and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.